Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is incredible. And you guys know that I'm not just saying that. I know we're gonna have a fun day today. Uh, I have some food. Uh, looks like Al is ready to eat. So let's go ahead and get our day started by feeding my guy Al. Hey Al, what's up bud? You ready to eat? You ready to eat? Here you go bud. Oh, yep, he's ready to eat. Al is a beautiful snake. Of course, he's a Machino reticulated python, hence the name Al Machino. So today, I'm only gonna be feeding all of our animals here at the Reptarium, but I'm gonna be dropping some knowledge on you guys. So you be ready, you get your notepads out because I'm about to drop some things that I think you guys need to hear. <laughs> this should be a fun one right here. She is definitely positioned in an interesting spot. Come on, girl. Ah! You always got that little pucker up when she starts to come at you, you know what I mean? So what do I mean by dropping knowledge? The fact is, guys, we all want to kind of follow our dreams and do things that we love. We want to wake up in the morning and be excited and enthusiastic about what we're doing today. And not everyone out there watching is that way, right? I mean, you know, you might be in school getting prepared for your next steps. You may already be uh, in a career. You may be deep into a career, but you may not be happy or you might be happy. And if you're happy, that's all that really matters. But the fact is, is that even if you're in a career and you want a little side hustle I'm gonna just kind of give you some advice on how to do it and do it correctly Mumu is just starting to look like she's going into shed so she may or may not eat but we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot because she's definitely due to eat but she may not go we'll see what happens you want to eat girl she seems to be a pretty good eater even when she's in shed Oh yeah, look at that. She took it. She took it nice and pretty, that's for sure. She's a beautiful snake and uh, this will give her a good meal and then she'll go through her shed and stuff like that. Again, she's starting to gain that, that all that pigment just like Perdita did. I mean, she looks a lot different just in the last few months for sure. But the fact is, is that, you know, I think when you have a side hustle or moving towards uh, your goal in business, you know, like me with reptiles or animals or whatever this, it it's all about finding the things that you're passionate about, right? I mean, something that you're gonna wake up in the morning and you would do even if it was your day off, right? You wake up and you say, hey, listen, I want to collect Barbie dolls. I want to, uh, you know, work with animals. I want to uh, golf. There's always opportunities in each of those things. So the first thing you need to do is talk to yourself and say, what am I passionate about? I'm not talking about like a, a phase where it's like, oh yeah, I like this now. I like to go out and play backgammon, but uh, three months from now, I'm not going to give a crap about backgammon. I'm talking about something that you are unbelievably passionate about. Find that then you can start building around that with a side hustle, maybe eventually turning into a full-time gig. Guys, this is gonna be interesting. Night Fury is uh, way up top. Whoa! He bit the cage, whoa! Come on, buddy. It's all right, whoa! Woo! Okay, there, ball here. See the ball, see the ball, see the ball. Whoa! Okay. Try it. Woo! Doggy, that was a lot of fun. I tell you, Night Fury is a energetic animal and I love him to death. And you know, the fact is when I talk about that passion, right, that you're like, I just love it so much. A lot of the people that work with me, Jay behind the camera here. Hi. The other Jay that works on the educational side of things. I mean, these are people that literally just loved what they're doing so much that they like went after it, right? They just went after it because they knew every day they wanted to be involved. Jay met me at Gatorland That's and right. was just like, hey, let's just do this. Let's do it. And we started talking and now he's with me every day. The other Jay just started paying to come to the Reptarium every single day saying I'm gonna work here and now he's here and you know I realize those are careers and I and, and that's fine I mean sometimes it's great to have a career in what you love too but if you want to do a side hustle or you want to start a new business you know you got to fall in love with the process right you got to fall in love with the work that's what's the really thing that's gonna keep you happy not the end result of making money and getting rich the fact is is you've got to fall in love with doing what you want to do right so you've got to wake up in the morning and know that every day for 32 years I've been doing this every single day and I still love it oh, I'm gonna close this so I don't get whoa somebody is crazy to hey 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 oh gosh oh gosh okay okay how are you gonna get out of this one bro? all right come on buddy come on buddy oh geez. oh, oh whoa we're gonna shut that for a second that's for sure, but, but again, just things like that. I love it, right? I wake up in the morning, I cannot wait to come here. Doesn't matter how tired I am, doesn't matter how many days I've been working straight, I wanna come here. And that's the thing, you've gotta find what you're gonna feel that way about because it's not just a year or two years or five years or 10 years, it's something that you need to find that you're gonna be in love with for the rest of your life. Guess what, guys? 
That's right, if you guys don't know it, it is merch time and it is all about Drogo the Sloth. Ho, ho, Drogo. What else could you possibly want for Christmas, right? If you're, you know, hanging out with your family, you always want this kind of shirt. And you know what? Ugly sweaters are kind of the new thing. And uh, I have this one here. That's right, you can get your own ugly sweater, Ho Ho Drogo. That's the floss on the back as well, it's absolutely cute. This merch is only gonna be available for about the next seven or eight days. If you order by then, you can actually get it for Christmas. It's a great Christmas gift, you can wear it around the house, whatever you wanna do. You can even get mugs, hoodies, all that stuff. Link in the description. Again, only seven or eight more days, and this is gone forever. Casper is ready, and Casper looks like he's gonna be like Night Fury and on my butt. Whoa! Come on, buddy. Whoa! Woo, dog, I tell you what, that is a lot of fun. That animal is amazing. Uh, I, I love feeding snakes, and again, it's because I found my passion. So now that you have found your passion for whatever, let, let's say that you're, you're a wine connoisseur, you know, there's opportunities out there, right? So how do I get started? And you get started by just getting started, not putting it off, not overthinking it, not chasing. Listen, no matter what you're gonna do, you're not gonna go from the start to being mega successful overnight. It's just not gonna happen, right guys? So don't think it can be that way. If you fall in love with the whole process of going through it, it isn't gonna matter and that time is gonna go by quicker. I always say the biggest thing in business is to number one, not worry about the money side of it, and number two, not chase it. Let it come to you, take your time. Sometimes it can take years, sometimes it can take months, sometimes it can take decades. But if you're loving what you're doing, it really doesn't matter, does it? You know, I gotta tell you guys a quick story. Do you know that you can could, you could pretty much do good in anything, right? About 20 years ago, Beanie Babies hit. You guys remember Beanie Babies, right? Beanie Babies hit and my daughter was like, oh, I want a Beanie Baby for Christmas. That sent me on a journey to where for about 10 months, I was obsessed with Beanie Babies. I made $40,000 that year buying and selling Beanie Babies. Not because of the money, I mean, don't get me wrong, the money was great, but the fact was, I was just excited to wake up and try to find that next elusive Beanie Baby. And once I found it, oftentimes I'd have it for a while, and then I would sell it and make huge profits. And like I said, I made like 40 grand. You can do well with anything, but you gotta be passionate about it. I didn't do Beanie Babies because I thought I was gonna make money. I did it because me and my daughter and my family we're having a great time and in the end we made a ton of money as well things are fired up today you can just see how they're all acting i mean they're just all ready to eat hi snazzers whoa hang on hang on buddy i'm almost here just wait your turn wait your turn there you go buddy <laughs> There's nothing better than seeing snakes eat. I mean, again, if, if, if I didn't get the enjoyment out of this after 30 something years, I would move on to something else. And, and that's the other thing I think you've got to keep in mind too, is that you've got to continue to stay passionate. If you're not, you're going to lose the interest. A lot of times that when you're doing something as a hobby, it sounds great. And then when you do it as a business, you lose the luster of that, right? So make sure you pick the right thing. And, and then when you do, you know, you're going to be fine. You know, I mean, what better way to make a living than to do something that you absolutely love right whether you're it's a job or you're doing it on your own doesn't matter it's the fact is that's the dream right that's the dream that we all want we want to wake up in the morning and be excited to do our job we don't want to wake up in the morning and be miserable now I'm not telling you to quit your job that's the worst thing you could possibly do I'm saying that if you're unhappy you should start to slowly make the changes to get to a point where you're happy and that change may take years it may take a decade for you to get to but if you start now 
you're gonna be closer to getting there, right? So if you wait a year to start, you're gonna be another year to get to your goal, right? So just do it, do it, love it, and uh, and it doesn't have to always be about making the big box. Again, if it's something like you're collecting sports cards, I mean, you know, you may buy this sports card for $100 and sell it for $110. It's only 10 bucks, but you're still having fun doing it, and you're making 10 bucks. 10 bucks you wouldn't have had. So. Don't think that you have to make the big bucks when you first start. Just think about doing the process. And if you make that $10 a hundred times over, you've just made a thousand dollars. Think of it that way. Let's see if Cupcake wants to eat today. Come on, girl. Ooh. Ooh. Tell you what, if you've ever been bit by a boa, you might have heard that crunching sound. That's how it feels when you get bit by a boa. For some reason, they have just like this really bad crunch and you could hear it on that rat. That, that brought back bad memories for me. And you know, I, the reason I'm telling you all this is I'm really passionate about sharing these kind of ideologies in life. And I love business, I love all that type of stuff and I want to share it with you guys. And I know a lot of really successful people. I mean, I even know one guy that's a billionaire and there's not a lot of billionaires out there. The truth is, is that the one thread for successful people is typically that they do what they absolutely love. Now, it's interesting. Sometimes people do just love making money. I don't get motivated that. I don't know how you get motivated by that, but there are people I know that are just so passionate about making money. Even if money doesn't matter to them, they're just passionate about making it. I find it weird. Does Jeff Bezos in the morning and from Amazon wake up and think like, I can't wait to get to work to make more money to ship more boxes? Maybe he does. I don't know. But I also know a lot of really wealthy people that are are miserable. They hate doing what they do. They make tons of money, but they're not passionate about it. So for me, I think that's the wrong path to go. So don't go into something just for the money. Go into it because you're super passionate and you're going to enjoy every single day. Snap and Pop are both out and about, which is rare because usually they are uh, up on the ledges. Oh, but there you go. And I'm actually going to take and put him right up on this ledge just to keep him away from Pop, just so that they don't try to mess with one another. He'll go right there and then this little monkey's back here. That's the thing I love. That's the thing I love about black-headed pythons. A lot of snakes, if you move them around, they won't eat. These guys will eat every single time you offer, so uh, they're pretty freaking awesome. What's going on, bud? There you go. And you know, you may think as I'm kind of telling you all this stuff that it doesn't apply to you, and it may not apply to you at the very moment, but you know, there's very few people that haven't followed their passion and have a career that they really do love, right? Uh, a lot of times people settle for a career, but it's very few people that are out there that haven't really searched for their passion. They're like, oh my God, I found my dream job and I didn't even want to. Most of the time people settle for a job that they're not really that interested in, but you know, it makes them money, it has good benefits or whatever the case is. And again, that's fine if you're that person, but the vast majority of people aren't that person. They're either working at something because they really pursued it from a passion standpoint or they're creating their own business. So pretty much wherever you're at now, you're probably gonna need some of this advice because down the road, it's all about happiness, right? I mean, I know that it's interesting when you start thinking about years, right? And you start thinking like, I have only 25 more Christmases left until I'm at an age where I might not have another Christmas. And you start really prioritizing like, wow, every Christmas has to mean a lot to me and it goes to same way for every day of your life and I think to me I couldn't imagine doing something that I don't completely passionately want to do every single day and, and I encourage you guys to do that and that's why I talk like this sometimes so I'm, again I'm passionate about animals I'm passionate about mental health I'm also passionate about preaching happiness and going after your goals and your dreams just like everything it looks like sunrise is ready but we've known in the past that she's not a real big pig eater she really likes rabbits to be honest with you but we'll see what she does here Come on, girl, you wanna try? She's definitely hungry, but she's just, for whatever reason, she usually crawls up and eats the pig, but she doesn't normally take it the same way she'll take a rabbit for some strange reason, and I don't know why, because she will usually crawl up and eat it, is I'll just put it right down in the cage like this, and there's a very good chance, probably nine out of 10 times, she'll just crawl up and eat it. But for whatever reason, it's interesting how snakes are that way, right? They can have the smell of a rabbit and crush it. And then on the flip side, they have a smell of a pig and they just don't like it. And she's never liked it. You know, Lucy's that way. She won't take pigs. We know even with Lucy, if you try to feed her too large of a rabbit, she doesn't take it. So snakes can be interesting. And that's why you got to get to know your, each and every animal because they are individuals. Perdita time. One of my favorite snakes, of course. Hi, sweetheart. Whoop, you ready to eat, I see, huh? 
Don't miss it. There you go, girl. <laughs> I love how she's so feisty. She like launches out for a second, then she just barely gently takes it. And you know, in the end, I hope that you guys don't mind that I preach a little bit to you. I don't mean to be preachy. I just, uh, I want you to be happy. You know I mean? You guys know that I do what I love every single day and I'm trying to find that eternal happiness uh, with the gratefulness that I have for everything that I have going on in my life right now. And I want you guys to feel that same way because even though I've dealt with some mental health with anxiety over the last several months, the truth is is that my happiness is all that matters and I love what I do and I know you guys can do what you love too no matter what that is and I know I believe in you and I believe you can do that and all I want to do is every now and then encourage you to step out and I hope that some people took this message today and said I'm gonna make that first step because trust me if you do you're gonna look back and think it was the best decision of your life and just like I mentioned she crawled up to it and ate it on her own for whatever reason she just doesn't like to strike at pigs I don't know why but she is eating which is awesome So again, I hope that you guys enjoyed this kind of pep talk. Now go out there and get there. Right now, more than ever, we need to change the world. We need you in it, and there's no doubt about that. If you enjoyed this video and you like feeding videos, here's a playlist on this side of me feeding a bunch of snakes. On this top corner right over here, hit that subscribe button to my podcast channel called Checking In. I hope you're subscribed over here to this vlog channel. If you're not, hit that subscription button and turn all your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.